it is important that we know where we come from. Because if you do not know where you come from, then you don't know where you are. And if you don't know where you are, you don't know where you're going. And if you don't know where you're going, you're probably going wrong. Terry Pratchett from I Shall Wear Midnight. Good evening, or morning, everybody. Sorry, there's a little bit of a technical hiccup. Uh, you can still watch on any of my other channels, and um, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Um, I am streaming on Twitch now, so you can go there. It's uh, dashboard.twitch.tv. No, wait. Sorry, twitch.tv. You can find it in the description box on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out, so just bear with me a few minutes, just so I can figure it out. Uh, I got no notification from YouTube that they're streaming either, so... <laughs> that looks like I am part of the purged, uh... That sucks. Well, I'll just go ahead and leave a link to the Twitch. You could watch it on... Twitch, or you can watch it on uh, DLive. Hi, Grant Jarvis. Um, you can watch it on Vim.tv as well. So, uh, give me a second here. This is, uh, this sucks. But, it's something we're going to have to deal with. Alright, so, for those that don't see me, You may have to watch here. Man. That is annoying. Well, uh, there's that, and there's also DLive where you can watch. So, I'll try to find my DLive address real quick. It's also there. Um here but uh, I mean you can see that the YouTube chat is working through restream just not the actual stream itself all right so those are two places you can watch it um, where you can actually interact with each other in chat um, if you don't care about that, you can also watch on Vim.tv and also on Periscope. Uh, any of those places right now, it seems like YouTube does not want you to watch me on their platform. Alright, so let me do my usual bit, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make this quick. There you go. You can easily see that uh, it's still waiting for me to start. What day is today? Yeah, it is the 5th now, right? Okay, so it still hasn't started yet. You can still see my chat. Um, at any rate, um, you can always leave a donation to me if you want. All of my material is free. Uh, you don't get any extra content or... Uh, anything different than anybody else everyone just gets gets the same thing uh, sometimes you can't watch certain things on YouTube because I'm still streaming on YouTube so you may find me uploading a video that was copyright striked or blocked or whatever and um, I just remove certain content so if you actually want to watch full content of all my videos at right now it seems like the live uh, will show it if you if you get notifications that I'm streaming to watch it you can um, watch all of my stuff on library afterwards. Um, I upload all my content there. Those are blockchain platforms. And of course, I got millions of other, not millions, 
a couple of other places where you can see my live streams and uh, my videos. So uh, you're just going to have to rely on that and not on YouTube. Um, you can also always join me on my shows, um, whatever I'm talking about. Sometimes I do ask you to uh, wait for me to finish um, saying uh, just kind of some of my stuff or uh, my presentations that I have. So you may be in the waiting room. You can always join me on the Zoom meeting or you can call in. Um, <clears throat> all right, so donations. Um yeah, Bitcoin. Uh, it's been zero dollars of cryptocurrency donations um, for over eighteen months, but only on Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I do get stuff over on D Live for Lino, and uh, I think I still have some Steam credits, but I don't really use them. Uh, you can see uh, on the Blockchain Explorer and any and all transactions. These are two transactions where I took money out of Patreon to give to Susie Dawson. There's also a video on it, and also. You can check my very coin. Still zero dollars. That's fine. Um, I have people uh, donate via Google Super Chat. Uh, they take a big chunk. But if I'm not live and you do want to donate, you can donate via PayPal.me. Um, beginning uh, at the first video of the month, I disclose how much I received for the previous month total and all donations in total um, with Google Super Chats and PayPal um starting and that only started on september 22nd 2019 uh, if you don't have any money and you think the globe earth is uh is, has been proven then um you can sue or get money from zen garcia you maybe sue him um prove it in court get fifteen thousand dollars should be easy right just donate to me a 10 percent finder's fee um i'm uh it's hard to get uh in touch <laughs> with scheduling but uh i am uh trying to help out with uh, zoomtruth.com go it's the flat earth people finder um so uh go ahead and sign up register there it's great and uh let's go ahead and just chat um hey shirley oh nice to see you and uh, d live there's plain truth port from co-op still on youtube <laughs> um yeah, you can probably watch on my other channels, right, uh, that I'm streaming from, and uh, <laughs> and just chat on YouTube. I think that's funny. Hi, Sudi Granite. Uh, I'm still, uh, this is my first live stream on um, Twitch, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, I clicked on the name and added friend, but now I can't see the rest of my chat there. That's just plain weird. Anyways, um, I just wanted to, to make this a short video. Now, I just have a little bit of an anecdote here. Now, um, I had a notification that uh okay surely joined that set a long time ago that's good very colorful colorful palette of colors and stuff over on uh the restream stuff <clears throat> anyway sorry segueing so um i got notification a couple days ago that the wilkinson wma wma stands for wildlife management area we're stocking or we're releasing pheasants now in Nebraska. You can only harvest or hunt and harvest the the redneck pheasants, the the roosters, um, not the hens. So I had time on Wednesday, which was yesterday, uh, during the late morning to go, and I thought I'd check it out. So I go with my shotgun and I check it out and I see a couple of hens, a handful, but since I can't hunt and harvest them, I keep going and um, I see a lot of shotgun uh, shells spent on the ground and uh, they're fresh. Otherwise, uh, you can usually tell where, where the old ones are because they're just kind of buried under because of the weather since it is nearing winter or wait, it is winter. Uh, sorry. No, 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 no. Wait, it's not winter yet. Sorry. Um, and, you know, I see a lot of tracks for deer and, and 
other other animals, but I couldn't find any roosters. I saw one rooster carcass, and I was like, "Well, it seems kind of unsporting. Like people would go there probably the day after the uh, the release, whenever they released it, because it was Thanksgiving weekend. So whether it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, what whatever, uh, I guess people were just waiting." And um, they just go out there, and the spent shotgun shells were really close to the road, basically where you would park your car. And it's like, huh, I think must have just gone there, and like all the roosters are probably horny. It's like, oh man, we're just out in the wild, released, and there's so many hens out here. It's like, I'm just gonna strut around, do my thing, and then bam, they get shot and killed. And um, I'm just thinking of this thing. Man, that's not very sporting. So I keep walking because I just want to see if there's any more to hunt. And I don't see any any roosters. Uh, see hens and all that. And I'm like, I come back and I'm just wondering. And as I'm walking around, I'm just wondering, why are we stalking pheasants? Shouldn't there just be so many pheasants around? I mean, I'm in Nebraska, Columbus, Nebraska, and it's farmland. And there's so much stuff that animals can eat, right? Um, and there should be just so much, so many animals around everywhere. I mean, survival of the fittest, whatever. You would think uh, they would leave the paradise of uh, islands and the Caribbean and whatever and and go out where all the food is grown, the grain is grown, and stuff like that. No, not even the birds. Uh, some of the Arctic terns, is it the Arctic terns? No, not. Um, some um, seagulls. I, see, I do see seagulls here in Nebraska, which is funny because I was like, wait, we don't have an ocean around here for miles. I mean, hundreds if not thousands of miles and it's just weird seeing seagulls but they do seem to migrate here and um i'm like wow that's that's weird and um i guess there's stuff to eat here so i mean if seagulls are coming down during the summer to uh to middle of nebraska way far away from the sea it's like well there's gotta be a reason to be around here right but yeah, um, I don't see a lot of wild turkeys, a lot of uh, birds. I mean, I think if you go more towards the west, towards uh, Colorado and Wyoming, you'll you'll definitely see a lot more uh, wildlife. But like in farm country, I would think that there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, who knows? Maybe they get hunted out. But uh, I don't know. It just seems like there's just not enough sustainability. What kind of where are we where we don't have enough sustainability or if we did what happened and who's to blame and why are we not doing anything about it of course we, there's more to that i mean it's just a really weird thing to just start thinking about certain things oh um sorry to hear that shirley that was that was quick I mean, after talking to you, are you all right? Come on in if you want to talk. Um, you don't have to be alone. I mean, what happened? I thought, um, I thought things were going good. Uh, uh, Sudi, granted, I don't have any money to buy tokens or whatever they are. Don't worry about it. You can always view me on other areas. Uh, I mean, you found me here, so. Uh, anyways, that's sad news uh, to hear, Shirley. I'm sorry. Um, I think uh, I think my time is almost up too. I think so, unfortunately. But we'll see. Um. Everyone has to go sometime, right? 
But uh, I think while we're here and where we, we don't really know where here is, right? Uh, we find joy if we can. I mean, we're born into this world wherever we are, whatever this is, without a say in anything. <laughs> and when we do want to have a say in anything, when we do grow up and we start asking questions about where we are, why are we here, and what are we doing, where are we going, and all this other stuff, uh, we're censored. <laughs> It's like, hey, well, look, all this stuff doesn't make sense. Can can I ask a couple of questions? And they go, no. We told you exactly what this world is. It's like, yeah, so can how, here's some questions about that. It's like, can you answer me this? They go, look, we gave you the answers. Now go back to work. Wait, what's the point of all this work? <sighs> I'm going to miss him and went back and forth about Trump. Yeah, uh, I think those are going to be some. Um, uh, good memories. I mean, those are the things that we we find joy in is the memories, some the memories that are worth keeping. Unfortunately, sometimes with traumatic experiences, we remember the trauma or the bad experiences more than the good. But then once you, because in some ways that's growth, right? We remember the bad things, the bad things that happen to us, the bad things we do to others, and we realize that we, we didn't like it, and, but that we don't want that to happen again. We don't want to do that to others again. We don't want uh, that stuff that happened to you personally from others to happen to those that you care about, and so you try to prevent it. So it does help with growth, but then um, most of the things that you end up uh, cherishing are just moments of just joy. And those are usually the little things. Usually it's not anything big. It's just all these little frivolities and, and stuff like that. So, uh, 31 years. That's a long time. I think... Let's see. Me and my wife have been married s seven years now? Yeah, I think so. Seven years. It passes by quick. Um, having kids, that time passes by quick. And, uh, yeah, each, people should stop to think and just reminisce about all the happy stuff and try to get more of that. And it's, it's a rarity. Oh, wow. Hi, D-Live team. Being featured on D-Live homepage. Wow. Wow. <laughs> They've never been featured on anything. That's interesting. But um, for those that are uh, on D-Live, well... Um, I used to do a topic and sometimes they're pretty, uh, usually they're pretty much informal and, uh, you can always come on in and talk with me. Um, all my information is free. Uh, and heck, sometimes I don't even have information. I just, uh, sometimes I just moderate. So you can always come on in. There's a zoom meeting link here, uh, which I guess, I guess copy link location and I'll go ahead and paste it so if anyone does want to join you can join on this session ah oh, man I'll have to go and get it from zoom copy URL all right so you can do that if you want to join and you can also have a call in if you want uh, the call in number um, if you want to know it, just go ahead and type it in chat. So, <clears throat> all right. And uh, for for this one, it's it's just fairly simple. It's just where are we? <laughs> I mean, everything that everyone has ever told us about where we are and um, what our history was 
it just doesn't seem to add up when we look at it and question it and scrutinize it and it's it's weird um i surely i will um <laughs> but i i think uh if there's something that's going to happen to me, I'm okay with it. I'm I'm really ready to see what's next. I don't want to leave, however, because there's so much here that I I found that I find joy in and there's more to be done here, I think. But um it's it's death as the next step is just like uh I, and I, f I think a lot of people feel the same way. It's like, well, what's 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 next? Let's let's go and see what's next because this this here, this here is just kind of bunk. <laughs> Whatever this is. Um, oh, sorry, Shirley. Uh, so the call-in number. Um, you're more in New York. Uh, so let me give you that info. Dial by location. Put on a Twitch. So that's the number, Shirley. And uh, whether you're a globe earther, you believe in the globe, or you realize that the globe earth model is kind of screwy. <laughs> um, or if you believe in a flat earth, um, or know it's a... It's flat or whatnot. I mean, that just kind of shows you the shape, but really, <laughs> what's the history behind this shape? What's what's the our real history? I mean, let's say the Earth is flat, and um, well, we've been lied to for a very, very long time, at least it seems. So. Where are we exactly if it is flat? Now, hey Shirley, how's it going? Uh, it's going fine, but uh, oh, oh, let me turn this up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, um, yeah, it was just we. Then we look back. It it was going on for a while, for like since the summer. He stopped because he had his own business. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of stressful because the other people didn't want to. Well, one, one his partner didn't want to communicate with the other people that worked there. He had that problem, and then he started forgetting his bills and stuff, paying them. And I'm like, something's not right here. So one day it was like, and he went to the hospital on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. He laid it it's Saturday. He was laying on the floor, and I was like, can you get up? He said, yeah, I can get up. He kept saying this. I said, the next day, on my birthday, that, I said, I got dressed, and I had to wait for my son to come up, and I took him to the hospital. He wound up having a, a, a blood infection. He has the worst form of staph infection. Hmm. It went into his bloodstream, and he never told me he had kidney problems. And then he was taking antibiotics, and I told him, you shouldn't take them because that's not for whatever it is you have. Yeah. Because he broke out in all these, these sores that he was leaking and stuff, and he swelled up even more. And um, they really worked on him. Because for him not to have insurance, they really worked on him at the house. They was doing everything. But the antibiotics, what they did, the infection did, it ate up the, his stomach with the antibiotics in it and went down to his intestines and down to his bowels. So he, when they, they found that out, when they found out, when he took a, you know, the bowel movement, they saw blood. Oh. So then they did a, a testing, and yeah. And then it infected his organs. That, that infection killed his kidney and his liver. And he just couldn't, I knew he wanted, he was ready to go. He was tired. He was really tired because he was the sole provider. Yeah. Even when I was working, he was still a sole provider. So he, he was just tired. And the only thing is he didn't get to hold his new grandbaby and he saw on FaceTime, and he and that just made his day while he was sick at home for a bit. Yeah. But I told him, you have to get out of here. I don't want you dying here. Yeah, because then my son got the job with GM. 
they came off strike and then they contacted him. So he got that and he started this week. So they understood. We got me a letter saying his father passed away. And they say, well, he can come in on Monday because he's doing training this week. Mm-hmm. That's a good union, though. They, they, they fought with the temporary workers. They're making them permanent. That's good. Yeah, that's good. The UAW, they good. Yeah. Because not all unions are good. They all benefit themselves, the one at the top. <laughs> <laughs> They do. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, it's a shame in this country because they say, well, where he got the medicine? I say he ordered it from overseas. He knew what kind of medicine he took, his blood pressure and stuff. But if he didn't take those antibiotics and he didn't listen and he didn't want to go to the doctor, I said, "He, you are so hard-headed. And I talked to an old friend who he grew up with, this woman, mm-hmm. and she said, yeah, he was hard-headed since he was a kid. He just did things his way. And he loved that Frank Sinatra song, I Did It My Way, because it's a really beautiful song. Because he <laughs> yeah. think of himself. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to let some talk about that power. Because he get up and he would go, I don't want to talk to you too about Trump no more. Did them business a couple of days there. What about Trump? Trump well, this is going to happen to Trump. And that go, I said, look, that ain't going to happen to Trump. He ain't doing anything. Ain't just tra- all that stuff is manufactured. I told you a while ago, I said, NDAA, the news can give us propaganda. That's it. Mm-hmm. And that's they're doing a good job at it. I don't know how people still fall for it. Mm. Yeah. And, what, and Hillary coming to my Bernie was, was uh, tied with the Russians. Did that, well, she did an interview with somebody. I mean, she sounds crazy saying this stuff. Well, to us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and ain't nobody talking about climate change, what they doing with the food, and they. And I'm sick of all these cancer hospital commercials on TV. Oh, yeah. It's like they advertise that you're going to get freaking cancer. I, I, they mention cigarettes, but they never mention what's in the food. Yeah. I, I was watching, because uh, we watch streaming. We don't have any cable anymore, so we're watching one of these shows and it's mm-hmm. free if you go to like NBC or wherever and you watch the shows they have those you can watch it for free but they have those ads on and usually those yeah. ads that they show just repeat themselves and yeah one of them was just a pharmaceutical commercial that repeated its, itself mm-hmm. and I was mm-hmm. like I think this is torture <laughs> I mean if I was yeah. in hell and they're going to torture me I think if they just showed pharmaceutical commercials i don't know what's worse whether just repeatedly watching just one pharmaceutical commercial or watching all pharmaceutical commercials that come up randomly i don't know which one's worse but they're both and, equally horrible and then, the, <laughs> and then the side effects they mentioned it's like i don't want to take that crap but some people fall for that crap like i'm gonna go to my doctor and ask can i take this stuff no, I took medicine I wasn't supposed to take. I got to get oral surgery on my mouth. I may have to wear dentures. I'm only 54 years old. Yeah. That thing, messed, it messed up my mouth. And I'm like, I should have, I'm thinking about filing a lawsuit, two different doctors, because the second one, rheumatologist, put me on, put, put me on that medicine twice a day, and I should have never been taking it. I had to go to a third mm-hmm. rheumatologist tell me, are you on a when he gave me paperwork to fill out, he's got, Pictures of your hands, lady, where well, you hurting at? He, you really go to them for when you're in pain. Because my mom, she has to go because she has the systemic lupus. So she be in pain, so she has to take it. Then she stops sometimes taking it. Because I told my mom, when you said you was getting dark in your skin, that's what I was doing. I was getting real dark. And I didn't even notice it. My mom, one of my family said, I thought she was an African. I didn't know that was her in that picture. She got really dark. Somebody called and said, are you okay? I said, I'm fine. Just when the doctors that blood working, everything's cool. Yeah, but I know if I me, we, me, if I didn't feed me and Curtis the way we did without all that with the antibiotic free stuff, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think uh, it, it probably would have been worse. Just because he took the antibiotics, that's what did it, because it made him seem like he was antibiotic resistant. And they just eat like the, they was eating at his stomach, and then went into overdrive, went too much intestine. I was like, "Oh my god!" And he had a lot of fluid in his body too, and his kidneys, because kidney failure running his family. His mom had it, but I didn't know he had it. I didn't know what the doctor told me. He don't tell you anything. And we was telling him for months, "Go to the doctor. Something's not right." Yeah. He broke out in his doors. It looked like it was a flesh eating disease. Ouch. Yeah, it, it was really bad. 
I was like, you getting out of here because um, you made fun you want. I said, I'll never forget my 54th birthday, November 17th. I took you to the hospital. And he said, I could get up in the paramedics club because he didn't have no clothes. So then when they get here, he's going to say, I put my draw underwear on. I said, I was trying to do that all day. And they said, you lost your privacy, sir, when you get, when I get, we got that call. He didn't fight him because they could, if he was combative, they wouldn't take him and say he didn't want to come. But he wanted to come. He knew he was really sick. Yeah. Yeah, but he he, he just said, I don't have insurance. I got to get medical bills. I said, boy, you just, a lot of people get medical bills. They just ignore them because they can't pay them. Yeah. They can't pay them. We're seeing that it's a lot. Mm -hmm. listen. Yeah. Can you can you mute the background, Shirley? I think I'm here. Oh, I I, no, I think that's, no, that might just no, be I the mic. No, I did it. I first did it when I first came in. I still had to um, mute on. I normally have, mute, have it mute when I call live. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. it's just when you're talking and I talk, I think it's just, uh, oh, it's just okay. feedback there. That's okay. Yeah, I had Twitch for a long time. I just said, I'm like, well, I'm here in the joint. People, I ain't seen many people here. I see Jordan Sheridan's on here. Yeah. But he's offline. It's really weird. Um, I got no notification about YouTube, but YouTube chat works, but my YouTube ain't streaming. Mm. <laughs> Even though it's, it's set up. funny stuff again. Yeah. <clears throat> I think um, I think a lot of people are going to probably experience that stuff. But oh, that's yeah, because they do a purge. Yeah, it's mm. good, though. I think uh, DLive deserves... Deserves it. All these other platforms uh, deserve a lot more content creators that come around. Whether it's talking, playing video games, mm -hmm. playing movies, playing shows, talking about politics, mm -hmm. whatever it is. I mean, f for me, yep. it's just questioning <laughs> what the heck is going on. <laughs> where are we? Who are we? Yeah. Where are we going? Where do we go afterwards? Why do people lie to us? Why can't we change anything to make things better? Uh, if things have gotten worse, I, I'm almost starting to think that we got to get money out of politics, and we got to get out on the streets of protest. But how long that protest was going on in the past for a year now? It's been there for a long they, time. They yeah, say they celebrated the anniversary, and it's still going on. Yeah, and yeah. Those in power, they, I mean. No one really does anything that's uh, very violent anymore. So the people in power no. just wait it out. I mean, it's like, hey. And yeah, because if you ain't doing anything, you get them scared. You get the, the FDR got scared during the Depression. And he locked the bankers he knew. You know, he said, we got to get the people what we want. So if they, what they want, he gave Social Security. And they want to take that now. And I don't know how they're going to do that. People worked it before that. That's what they worked all their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Um, I think that I think one of the another good question is uh, what's going to happen to people who can't pay? I mean, what's I, insurance? Anything. When when oh, yeah, they, I, I think they want to put us in um, like the, like the Holocaust and like. Uh, one chain, not the chambers, but lock us up and stuff like that. I think they want to do black people like that because they fighting for these immigrants. They don't want to do nothing for us. And Trump is the only one that came out and said to speak. Black people built this country. They need to be recognized for it. They need to be. And no, I didn't even see the black politicians say that. <laughs> and I have not seen it. And yeah. they always, and they made something about that. They had to make it negative. I said it wasn't negative, it was positive. At least they gave, he gave us credit. And we deserve it. That White House was built by people, of the, the, the slaves. All, everything here was built by slaves. Harbor, they in the railroads. Mm -hmm. With John Henry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't learn our history. I'm learning a lot of stuff now. Mm. And they ain't learning in school. Mm. Benjamin Banneker was an architect. He was a former slave, and that, that's how Washington was built when it, when it was first built up. Mm. Every president was in that White House, and they do nothing for us. Mm. <laughs> it, it's... And, and, 
and they just fight for immigrants. I have no problem with immigrants, but if they come in here, if they come here illegally, but I know the Mexicans are in California because Compton is not like it used to be. It's not Ice Cube and all all of them now. Mm-hmm. They burning up people, black people homes and get putting them out the neighborhood. Yeah, I seen that. I thought somebody was lying, mm-hmm. but I looked it up and I said, "Dad, they they ain't really over there doing that." They said it's totally different. Yep. Where, where where do all these people go? Is do they just die off? Is that just uh-huh. from people? I I don't get it. <laughs> and the immigrants come here, they get they get welfare, mm-hmm. they get free health care, and we've been here all our lives and been asking for free health care for God knows how how long, and but mm-hmm. we can't get it. But you 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 saying we y'all don't have the money, but you bringing these immig- want to bring the immigrants in to take care of them. Yeah. That just doesn't make sense. Now, I'm not, I like it. I don't mind the legal ones. They went and did that. Went to school or class or whatever and learned, and they, you know, during Fourth of July, they get sworn in and becoming new U.S. citizens. But the ones that come in here legally, man. Mm. <laughs> what? Why do you? Why do you? Um, what's your thoughts on on why they like to push uh, people to just migrate all over the place? No, but what the thing is, and then like, another thing, yeah, we ahead. in their countries, destroying their countries. Yeah. Because they were living well before before we get, go there. And so they like, hey, we're going to go where they, they, the country that took tried, took our country out, we're going to go there, and they're going to have to help us. And then they want to they wanted erase blacks, because blacks right now are not really voting for Democrats anymore, but they say that they're tired of it. They are tired of it, because they never always say they... Like they help the LGBTQ community, um, DACA, immigration. They're working on that too. And it's like when we say something, oh well, we'll come up with some bill HR forty. No, that's uh, no, 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 no. Because you add, they want to add everybody else in with it. Well, uh, just us. They don't want to just put us. They don't want us to have anything. Yeah. And then they come up with a new name for uh, a new title for an article. Well, can America give um, the former uh, former slaves the ADOS um, reparations? Yeah, you can. Did you want to even say it? Yeah. Decades ago. I mean, Israel, we still giving them $100 million, something like that, a year. <laughs> and that's made by the Federal Reserve, and they really ain't got no money. Yeah. And they got free health care, free school. Yeah, we, mm. give, we, give, uh, we give billions to, like, Israel. Yeah, the- yeah, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> and and I'm one, I heard they got one of the best Arabic spelling learning uh, schools in the country. Probably. Yeah. And uh, I think it was Obama's administration. They gave some reparation money to the Native Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but none to the blacks, even though he was no, half one. They- <laughs> no, they ain't, they ain't. No, they. They just. I just don't know. I just don't understand it. And I really believe we have been a lot of stuff we use every day in this country. Because the Smithsonian said, if it wasn't for African Americans, this country would not be thriving. Because I've, I've been learning about the uh, things that African Americans made and invented, and they did. They couldn't get patents, so you know. The white man took that from us, and they they, they make billions off, and our ancestors, not our wealth, not being passed down of what we built. They're making money off of it. There's a lot of stuff that was made that we did, and we don't we don't appreciate every day. Yep. So nobody knows we're not told our history. Uh, we're told hmm. someone's history, just not uh not one that yeah, makes like, sense. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, we just not. I mean, we, anytime we ask questions about the historical context, they don't like to answer it because it just seems like, uh, well, the, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. But you know what? That doesn't. We can't answer that. <laughs> so they don't answer. And they, it. So. And they they bitch about Martin Luther King. I really don't recognize it because it's not a national holiday. Mm-hmm. But Christopher Columbus is. How somebody celebrating? They never. America was already here when he came. He came and did some brutal stuff to people. Yeah. Yeah. Here's and a, here's here's the thing: is um, 
for a lot of people, they don't believe the mainstream media, right? Yeah. What, what, and, and if you don't believe the mainstream media now or the news or anything mm. like that for a couple of years now, or yeah. say 9-11, the way it happened, or anything else. Yeah. So in the future, when in the history books, like if you have kids or grandkids, and their history books mm -hmm. has our current news from like CNN, MSNBC, mm -hmm. Fox, and whatever. Right. Then how do we know that our history <laughs> that we learned in school is right if... No, it if wasn't been, right. Yeah. I mean, so... Yeah. It wasn't right, because I know I learned about Christmas Atticus when I was in, I think, elementary school or something. Because you hear about the same people, black history, and I say, I know we have more blacks that do something in society, you know. But Christmas Atticus was the first one in, um, in the war, mm -hmm. and he jumped in front of a, a, I guess, a bomb, or they were firing, the other side was firing at him, and he said his comrades. And they went for Harriet Tubman. I mean, Harriet Tubman was good. And she had free to say she's tough like a man, though. But I think he should have been put on there. Because they said during the Civil War and stuff, the whites will run and the blacks fought that war. We were actually more American than they are. Because we fought those wars. The black people ran. Yep. Yep. And we didn't learn that. You know what's funny? I think I saw an article a while back that they were going to make a Harriet Tubman movie. Movie, sorry. Oh, they made that crap. They used the African to play. They could have got uh, Viola Davis to play that role. Well, I think the writer of the screenplay or the pers one of the producers or something will actually plan Julia Roberts to play Harriet Tubman. Yeah, then when I heard that, I'm like, man, <laughs> I don't even want to see the damn movie. I don't want to see it, but the only thing other people dispute it. She had in there, but there was a black slave that was going after to say, but did, they did do that, because I remember the movie Roots. There were black slaves that got paid to go get, bring runaway slaves back, their own people. So they had to whip their own people. They didn't want to do it, but they had to. They fed our babies the alligators and stuff like that. I mean, it was some sick stuff being done. Are you telling us we don't all bad? We're not old anything? Yeah. Mm. And we we see justice not being yeah. equally uh, yeah, <laughs> and we weren't part of the Holocaust. We had nothing to do with that. That was Germany. Germany just paid their debt. Why are we paying Israel? <laughs> and then really, it's the Zionists getting the money because they really didn't really do give the money to the real Jews. Yeah. So you got that in, 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 in history, because I learned that about this woman called in Mike Rivera's show. She, she, she was born in Bethlehem and lived there. She said, the, some of the Jews and the Palestinians, we all lived together. My dad had Jewish friends. I think she was Palestinian. And we all got along, babysit each other's children, and had dinners together. And she was like, and then the Zionists came back in, and they just started taking over. We, they kept asking for a little bit of more land, and then it just went crazy. Because they, they almost out of the Palestinians. And it's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. I think, um, I mean, even the war in the Middle East is screwy. I mean, uh, we, we the United States supporting Israel supports Saudi mm. Arabia. Um, we have this idea that we're at war with Muslims, yet we're we don't have w we war with any Muslim countries in Asia, no. just the uh, Middle East. Um, no, but they kill more Christians in these Muslim countries because there's a lot of Christians in these countries. They well, kill more of them than Muslims. <clears throat> um, and we we see we see uh, the Vatican play a part too. So yeah, got, I know. <laughs> Uh, pretty much yeah. the uh, cr Christians, Muslims, uh, yeah. Jews, at least the countries where uh, they're just kind of the the lead, I guess, yeah. in in yeah. all that. And uh, yet we're all we're supposed to be all at war with each other for with all these uh, religious ideologies and whatnot. It makes no sense. And they're all pitching wars against their own type of religion, or at least different right. different sets of it. It's it's uh it's screwy. 
<laughs> it is really yeah, scary. Yeah, because I know they killed more Christians than Muslims. They were killing more Christians. And that because they don't believe, they're not really into religion. <coughs> they're really not. And like somebody said, when you see um, Netanyahu meet up, meet up with the Pope, he never had a yarmulke on his head. Yeah, mm. sorry, I'm just blowing my nose. And, um, and also, they tell him about sending 14,000 troops to the Middle East. What the hell, what? Yeah, we're not told what's going on. We're not... I never mind. Well, you know I got that from Sputnik Russian news, so... Yeah. Yeah, and did you hear about the random shooting last night on the military, the Navy, Naval Yard base in Hawaii? Um, I kind of caught wind of it, but... It was, the, it was the active soldier that did it. Hmm. Yeah, he killed... I think killed two. He killed himself, and it's one... The person still in critical condition. Hmm. He's an active soldier. Mm, I can't wait to hear his story. But I can go to Delhi Mail. They always get that stuff and had a name of the person or whoever. Mm. And every and but three days in a row, there were school shootings in different states. Mm -hmm. mm. So, Shirley, I want to ask you something because you know I question a lot of things. Uh, especially like the shape of the earth. Oops, I didn't want that. Stuff. I don't know what it is. Flat, round, I don't know. But we, we're not told the truth. Yeah. And I don't want to go up in the damn space. <laughs> I do. I, I, it'd be interesting. I, what what I, I find funny right is... That, I'm, I think about that movie, Aliens. I think something <laughs> is up there, and y'all going to get something. I'm they don't make no movies for nothing. I watch the movies they be coming out. They're not making up that shit for nothing. Mm -mm. Nope. They want to go up there? Go. Well, I'm not, I don't want to go. Spend millions of dollars wanting to go up there. Mm-mm. But like Cedric Entertainer said in the Kings of Comedy, he was like, yeah, the white man going up there making spaceships and going up in the sky. And you know black folks will be up there with a deuce 25 of rims and music going. We'll be up there wherever <laughs> they go. we we'll still follow. I was cracking up. I said, that is funny. <laughs> that is. Dude, that, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they uh, uh, were right up there. They tried to get away from it. But we were come following right behind the Deuce 25 with some rims and some music going. <laughs> I was like, he is crazy. He is so funny. I mean, oh, God. Uh, if they made space balls now, that's that's what yeah. should happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> you want to destroy the earth and go up there and destroy a, that up there. A ducked out Shit. spaceship. <laughs> yeah, it don't make no sense. Oh man. Mm. But yeah, <clears throat> I think it would be fun. I, I just find it funny that people who are big globe Earth believers, and I, I'm mm. a I'm a space junkie. All these uh, space sci-fi movies, I I love them. Even though I I no longer believe in the in, in the space that's represented in movies and in stories but still i i love it i'd want to go even if even if it's fake and uh i just find it funny that people who keep pushing that uh flat earth has no merit earth is globe they don't even want to go up into space i'm like are you serious why wouldn't you want to go <laughs> uh, i know i don't i don't do heights uh, <laughs> that's too far up for me <clears throat> mm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, at least if you if you're gonna fall from that height, um, you get a great view before you die. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you look on the bright side of it, I guess. <clears throat> I'm getting sick of this AI intelligence because I'm like this, like somebody said. You think of the movie Terminator and RoboCop, those things, and every they'll come out and be killing machines. They have no empathy. You can't teach a robot empathy. Yeah. And I think more blacks will be killed then when they get them out there on the street. They're trying to put, put them on the police force. Mm. <laughs> and that's been a malfunction in the robot. No, 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 no. 
And I hate some self checkout machines when you do something. No, get, uh, please call the cashier. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually getting the cashier line. Yeah. And they think it's more, and they put more and more of them in the market. I'm like, that's more and more people losing jobs. Yeah. Yeah, and you have one person running, and she all over the place. She can be helping somebody that don't really know what they're doing. They've been there for a while, and you still stuck there. I'll get pissed. I want to get in and out. Mm. Frozen fast, but it's not. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, I think technology is good but to a certain level, but when you start to make robots, people having sex with robots, what kind of shit is that? <laughs> I mean, I, I, it's just like, oh, y'all going too far with this. Too darn far. Mm-mm. Too far. <laughs> they got sex robots. I'm like, and there's probably some fools out there getting getting them that have money and trying to do something with it. You know, somebody had to be put in the house because they they got claps to one and they had to get it removed. Yeah, they're not thinking about this stuff. <laughs> they malfunction. Robocop malfunction. Uh, Terminator malfunction. R- Robocop fu- malfunctioned in a good way, though. Yeah, right. he did in a good way, but that that was that that wasn't reality. I said, uh-uh, that could go another way, man. And he did function this function in a good way, but, but that could go sa- another way. Same thing with Terminator. At least in Terminator <laughs> Two, he, he he functioned in a good way. You know, it just depends on how he's how they're mm. uh, how they're <laughs> how they're programmed. But, no, you can't. Mm. Well, I, you, they malfunction. That program, it may start going off on you. You think it's, um, mm-mm, no. If you ain't got no feelings and no empathy, and some of these cops don't either, but um, when you talking about making a robot like that, oh, no. Mm-mm. <clears throat> well, they kill machine. Have you thought about humans as being AI and robots? Because if you think about it, right, Mm-hmm. If if you're in the system and you are someone like a police officer or a soldier and you have to follow orders and you're told mm-hmm. to do something um, that, like, say you have to shoot a, a baby or shoot an a elderly mm-hmm. woman or something and it's, it's, it's you kind of have to withhold your empathy. So what makes a human any different than a programmed robot when they're given orders and they don't stop to think about uh, whether those orders are are wrong or not? They just follow yeah, through. Well you, have some, well, you have some in the military. They enjoyed it. They enjoy it. It's like some people that the one that <laughs> Chelsea made and used that video tape. They were shooting those water reports and they were excited and and, and they ain't getting in trouble. And they knew that was reported. They had shot at subject. Mm-hmm. I heard them in that, that, that shop. And I'm like, damn, that's not. Oh. So don't you think that certain humans are worse than ro- programmed robots? If they. You know, well, they, they can be. <laughs> they can be. Yeah. But that, I'm that, I just say, hey, I know I'm not for that. I don't want no robot because I think giant market has a long. A real tall one just walking around. I'm like, that shit is eerie, man. I don't like this. So I came in the Jetsons. Mm. Uh, and the Jetsons, that was telling us about what was going to happen. That cartoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Living up in space and the robot uh, made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> uh, just new people uh, on D Live, which is interesting. K pop nightmare. <laughs> I can't get in there because I don't remember my password. Yeah, I know. You may... remember they said once you, may... you um, don't remember it, you can't get a, get another one. I'm like, darn. Yeah. Uh, you may have to just create a new one. That's okay, though. I mean, yeah. it's still relatively new, so I think uh, if you started a new one, it. it I probably have to use a different um, email account. Oh yeah, that I maybe I use my Gmail. Uh, yeah. Cause I was D Live, and then I was Freely dot com. That's another one. There's conservatives and and 
the left over there. But it's majority conservative. I'd like to hear their views too. I'd like to know what they be thinking. Mm. I look at both sides. Cause that's like it looks. It looks like Facebook has set up with a different color. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I'm just interacting with some of the people chatting. Um. Um, so, like, what happens to, to, like, um, your husband Curtis's, uh, emails and stuff like that? Like, did he leave you well, information? That's, that's, no, because that was up in the air, because that's one thing. He didn't communicate about his business. But we, good thing, he saved a lot of stuff in his cell phone, like his bank accounts and mm -hmm. things. Cause he just handled the money himself at the at his shop. He didn't yeah. trust any but trust anyone else, and especially his partner, cause he ain't full of crap. Cause he has a a a, a business he uses, and he uses it for for the for home for bills for home. Yeah. And 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 since he's been in the hospital, now his partner never wanted to do the job. He'll mess them up, or he don't do it at all, and whatever. Now he's doing it now. All of a sudden, you stepping up when Curtis in the hospital, and he'll tell them people, "Oh, write me, write the check in my name." We will be going in tomorrow and say he gonna send invoices, but put it the way you always gave it to Curtis. Don't give it to him. Cause they never dealt with him. Mm mm. And it's these Africans. They own the business down here on Broad Street for years, and he's been dealing with them for a long time. He he just they do he does work for him and then they just build they he's build them at the end of the month and he, he even told my daughter his partner that yeah that he used it for his personal account but I'm gonna have him put the check in my name what you need it in your name for <laughs> his son has the same last name he's gonna be like the executive of his estate yeah. <clears throat> Uh, hopefully all that gets settled pretty good. Yeah, yeah, because I'm like, because he didn't really tell us nothing, so we working. I just wish he had his stuff in there, because I was like, you need to, but why you got this going, and we still live, and you need to do a power attorney, or whoever you want to be power attorney, you trust between us, that, uh, get your, baby to get your money. That's what my grandmother did before she, way before she died, because she said, hey, I ain't going to get around no more. We got to go to this bank, and I'll make you power attorney. You pay my bill. And that's what we did. She had to sign the paperwork. They had the paperwork at the bank. And we both signed it, and I was able to cash her checks and bring her money, because she always wanted cash in the apartment. And I paid, made sure her bills was paid. Yeah, so... That's all he had to do, but I, don't, I just don't understand it. He just was hard-headed. Even his former friend, um, I talked to her the, last night. She said, yeah, when he was a kid, we all grew up, and he was just he was hard-headed always. I said, I know. He still is. He still was. They want to listen. <laughs> mm. Nope. Mm. <clears throat> But now I'm glad he's resting in peace because he was, he was tired. He was always tired, staying late. And I'm like, why are you the only one staying there? You got your partner. What the hell you got a partner for? Yeah. Yeah, and he go on vacations. I know my husband just likes to work, 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 but he's always thinking about making money because he said, I never want to work for nobody else because he worked for a company for like almost 30 years, mm -hmm. and they just shut shop. And he had his shop already, but if he was doing that on the side, but then he got to make it full time. Yeah. Because he said, I'm never working for nobody <laughs> else again. And I understand that the way these jobs are. And he was so happy when he found out when he was in the hospital that see, my son got the job with GM. Because he had worked there before. I think he worked in the office part, though. But he had worked there before, so he was so happy. So that's why I'm. Because he was worried about him if he passed or something happened to him. Will he step up and be a man? Because he really ain't had time with him working all the time. And the place he put in 30 years that he missed things with the kids. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, and now, and he really didn't have time to sit there and talk like, show him how to change a tie. He just told him that, man, this man, this man is 27 years old. But he, I think he was watching him and learning anyway, and, and I think when he was dying, when he was dying which I saw last, the night before, that he, um, he was proud of him. He knew he would step up and take over what he was doing, but he ain't going to do it like he did. Because <laughs> yeah. we all over the place trying to find, we didn't, yeah, but, but he saved a lot of stuff in his notes on his phone. But I believe she saved it on paper, too. I don't think he did, but that's why if he, when he lost his phone, he went crazy. Everything in there I need, everything in there I need. But that was good he had it because I called people up that called them, that knew him, and I knew he was. they were his customers, good customers, and I called and spoke with them. So, you know, but well, they're going to try to keep it going, but. I don't know if my son could do it because he's still going to work at GM. But I don't want that to mess up in that. But, <clears throat> but I think everything be all right. I think he, he passed away. He was li- he was in, he was at peace. And when we went to see him when he passed, I was like, he, he's getting that well rest he needs because he, he had gotten insomnia with that infection too. He would go yeah. to sleep, he knocks out and wake up. And I'm like, well, he, he's sitting in the cathedral. In our office in the back, and he's sitting up and he's sitting there sleeping. The cat, he knows something was happening because he's still sleeping back there waiting for him to come back, and he's not coming back home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The animals and babies and stuff, they do know what, if something happened. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, when I, I always look at nature and I look at animals and, um, a lot of animals have just a an instinct of certain things. Mm-hmm. Like we have no idea how they know. Uh, right. People guess. Scientists guess. Uh, that's what they have to do. They can't test it. I mean, <clears throat> you've got birds that always know where north is. They storm, know, <clears throat> yeah, or a storm coming. They know to go back to a certain area to spawn, yep. like fish and things like that, or like there's a specific island you know when they're old enough they they um <clears throat> they they go back in order to like an island or a specific place to to give birth and it's like mm-hmm. how do they know that it's like imagine a, a a baby being born in say Houston Texas and they leave the at like age 2 Two days. I mean, in two days, mm-hmm. not two years, and then uh, they get raised. They they're raised all on their own, I guess, not by their parents, and then they're told right. nothing of that place. If and they go back and they go, yeah, I know how to get back here. <laughs> it's like how. <clears throat> <laughs> so yeah, there's just it's just kind of amazing. Yet people think that there's nothing like that for humans, and I just I just kind of like why. Why? Why would humans not have some innate sense of of, of something that they know about, <clears throat> where almost every animal out there have their own sense? I mean, and I think of like like a mayfly that lives only for a day, twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. I mean, how much can he accomplish in a day? <laughs> and <laughs> and how does a <clears throat> a species like that survive? Where Basically, if if the entire species, if something bad happens in a day, like uh, <clears throat> just bad weather that they can't handle, it's like that right. entire species should be just extinct. Yet they survive. It's it, I don't mm-hmm. know. It's uh, it just nature can be amazing sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it can. Animals. Yeah, and you know how we see bees. We need bees to survive. You mm-hmm. don't like being sung by them, but you do need them. Uh, yeah. yeah, just pollinators. Yeah, uh, but you don't hardly see any. And certain certain plants and trees or whatever need humans to to actually work with the plant in order for them to survive. And so, how does how did it ever get to that point where? It, they needed human interaction to to actually uh, survive. 
I mean, hey. how are they surviving before humans? It's 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 just um, I don't know. This is one. This was this one young girl that came up, Bill Myers. She was um talking about the bees. You must save the bees because we having a shortage of them. And she really broke down and explained what it was. I said, man, she know her stuff about them bees. But she said we need them to help us survive. Yeah. I guess with the pollinating and stuff, yeah. I, I think but we you need don't a, all these sounds. Yeah, I mean, I think we need a lot of things. I think. Um, and nature. All, yeah, nature. I think we've in the past. I think we all work together with all these different types of animals and insects and things like that. Yet now we're then, just kind of. Then man is knocking down where they live there because they have. It's a. It, I think they spotted two black bears in Delaware. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they don't go in places like that. And, like, we have, I mean, we have red foxes that run around here because I saw them for the first time. My, my, my husband, my son was like, oh, we knew that when they were around, even my daughter. I'm like, well, y'all never told me because somebody had put it on ring.com picture of it in a lawn. I said, that's what I saw that night. My son was telling me, no, you saw something else. I think he told me I saw a dog or something. I said, no, dogs ain't going to go out and walk under cars. That looked like some kind of other animal. And that wasn't no possum or nothing. We got all that stuff around there. I said, they knocking down stuff around where they live at. So they got to go migrate some, somewhere else and come in the city. <clears throat> yeah, so... I better get my butt off here. I got to go arrange his <laughs> funeral tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, later on, yeah. rather. Yeah. Tell me how it goes. Uh, you, uh, you know, uh, you're always welcome here, Shirley, to talk about I know anything. I am. Yeah. All right. Have well, a good. I had to let you know that. Yeah. Uh, have a good night. Have a good rest, and tell me how everything goes. And uh, okay. maybe, maybe share a few memories of Curtis. That's uh, that's not like uh. <laughs> Trump and mainstream media related, you know, like yeah, how you guys yeah. met and married and all that, all that jazz, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's a simple story. Yeah. It wasn't like something romantic, but. But even. You know, we just, we just, we just hit it all. We were in the same kind of music and I was listening like, uh, Errol Smith and them. He's like, wow, you the first black chick I've dealt with. <laughs> listen to that stuff. Because I listen to that stuff too. Yeah. I like, I'm listening to all kinds of music. I grew up in a house of music, so I and I have I, I put it take it down to my kids. The music ain't like it used to be before. Mm -hmm. I think the '90s was the end. The '90s of good music. Yeah, I when I play music with my kids, uh, it's usually the older music. I don't think it's any of yeah. it's like in the 2000s. Most of it's like. Mm -mm. 90s and and earlier mostly mostly stuff oh, yeah. from the 70s and some then with the, the 80s yeah. the 80s was the pop the cars <laughs> Duran Duran and who I was, mm. I, I'm actually I was, uh, having my kids listen to stuff way earlier than that you know even stuff back in like the 60s and, and 50s even yeah, they love it because we like Jefferson what was it Jefferson Starship had that song. We love this and all that kind of stuff because they were like kind of peaceful. They were talking about things that was going on in that era of time, but the same stuff they were singing about still going on there, like Marvin Gaye, what's going on, the wars and stuff, mm -hmm. still going on. Yeah. yeah, so they don't talk about stuff like that no more. Yeah, Billy Joel, like remember like the We Didn't Start the Fire? I mean, that stuff. Yeah, still I love that true. song. I was talking. I saw him at concert. Oh, God, that was so good. I said, he's short. I thought he was tall. <laughs> <laughs> he was short. But he he came here to Philly and I saw him. Yeah, and one time. My girlfriend, she, she her, her uh, cancer came out of remission and spread to her bones. So she was going to every concert she could. And we went to the concert. We didn't talk about her, her cancer or anything. We just had a good time. And she really had a good time. She couldn't sit down. <laughs> That was a nice concert, though. Yeah. Yeah, because I got his box set, too. Billy Joel. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Go to, go to bed. Go All get right, some rest. I'm going to bed. Yeah, All, right. All right. I'll talk with you All later, right. Shirley. Okay. Do, do you go on Twitter? I'm sorry, what? Do you go on Twitter? 
I am streaming on Twitter. What do you mean? Do I go on? Twitter? I will. I will. I will message you on Twitter. Oh, DM. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'm, let you know. I'm still on. Uh... Oh yeah, Twitter. Yeah, I'm still on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was. I was like, what's? <laughs> it's late. <laughs> it's it's yeah. three fourteen here. I should yeah. go to bed too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bed. All right. I'm gonna pick it up on my sleep though. All right. All Have right. a nice weekend. You too. Good night, Shirley. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Uh, I'm just uh, looking at... Sooty Granite Fox is a problem down under here. Is that... Is that... Uh, so many Australians. Watch my show. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, Sooty Granite, are, are you... Um, Oh man, it is late. I'm starting to forget stuff. Um, Ryan, are you Ryan? Ryan Bannock, Shoalhaven River on Twitter. I should look on Twitter. Shoalhaven. Ah, uh, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Um. <clears throat> No. Oh, Grant Jarvis. Ah, oh, okay. Got it. Well, um, yeah, that that sucks. Um, having people pass away that you love, and um, it's it is part of life, it, you know. But I think it should be a good thing. Uh, to remember when someone passes away just all the I mean if there's sadness there's joy and if there's joy that's that's great for the people who who are still living on and that's great for the person who passed away because I mean when you're born into this world um, you're born into a system you have no control over you no know, say with and um it's it's a tough world i mean it doesn't have to be but it doesn't seem like it it should be uh but it it is um <laughs> it's made that way on purpose it seems uh but you know despite all that despite all the uh hardships the struggles the pain you know there's those uh, moments of joy and that is just kind of why we're glad we're here we've been here and uh you know there's only so much joy i guess some people can handle and um it's it's whether you i don't know i guess there's a balance it's like are you just too tired of uh, of, of the pain um, that the joy is just not enough to keep you going type of thing? Right? Let's see. Good night, Bill Groeper. Hey, uh, random inner tubes. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah. Always question. I mean, if if you want to change things, as far as this world goes, whether it's politically or whatever, I think you should take a step back. You know, move that question back a little bit. It's like, why hasn't it been changed in the past? I mean, if you want to change things now, it's, why didn't it change in the past? And if it, they said it did change in the past, then what happened? Why did it fail? And if it never happened, you have to ask yourself, why didn't it ever happen? And uh, why isn't it still never going to happen? I mean, you can try and reach out, try to be, <laughs> try to be a uh, a content creator, and see how well you do. Keep at it. I mean, I, I talked with content creators before. I helped them out. 
they go, yeah, just keep at it. You know, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, you'll, you'll get a following. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, I do, but it's not like anywhere near the numbers that they made. Um, and it's, it's not feeding people talking about things that people want to hear. It's, it's usually <laughs> I've kind of, I'm at the point where I'm making content of stuff you really don't want to hear. You don't want to question. You don't want to think a little bit further than what what's presented to you. And uh, you're not going to like that. Um, but uh, the one thing that I will, I guess, mention quite often is that there's hope, there's joy in all this. There's even if you don't know where your purpose is, where you are, who you are, what you're doing here, what you can do here, what you what you're allowed to, what you're not allowed to, whether it's real or not real, you know, all of that stuff is, uh, you just, <clears throat> just keep asking questions really. And, um, if you think you know the answers, <laughs> sometimes I think I know the answers. I do. Uh, I had ayahuasca experiences, three of them. And I think, uh, it's it changed me in so many ways for the better and uh what to do what not to do and um how i want to live my life uh even uh the idea of fear just not fearing anything um like i'm ready to embrace death but there's you know, but first, if you want to embrace death, you have to embrace life. Um, because if once you embrace life, you don't have anything to fear with death. And uh, that's just a knowing. Call it gnosis. Uh, but I still don't call myself an agnostic or gnostic. I still call myself an agnostic gnostic, which may not make sense. <laughs> but re really, nothing really does make sense in, in this in this place <clears throat> but anyways uh i do like talking with people uh so come on in if you do want to talk and um we're, we're gonna go a lot of places and uh find out what each place is <laughs> at least try to we may never get there but i don't think we were meant to i mean if it was if we we're meant to f find out um it should be easy and uh, maybe we're just overthinking it. Maybe maybe we we do know what this place is, and it really is easy. And we've just all been overthinking it too much. And <sighs> there's just so much. There's just so much. Uh, I could probably do a live stream, three, four live streams a day for the rest of my life, and. I don't think we'll ever get close to knowing anything. <laughs> it's that sad. I mean, it's it's a little sad, but um, but it's also amazing as well because um, we'll still talk about it. We'll still think. We'll still ask questions. We'll still ponder. We'll still wonder. We'll still find amazement in how crazy it all is, and um. Until the point where you're just taken out. You're taken out of here. Um, they'll find a way. And uh, whether you want to go or you don't want to go. Um, you know, how hard are you going to want to fight it? I guess. Is it? I mean. It's kind of a good thing, right? If you want to keep fighting. Because um, there's, there's a purpose. There's a reason for you to fight. I mean, people give up a lot um give up hope and i think that's just kind of something that's sadder than um that's probably the saddest thing people who give up hope because they just uh i don't know maybe maybe there's something that's sadder what if all you all you had was just hope and that hope never came i mean is that as sad as someone who has absolutely no hope at all uh, questions to ponder anyways uh it's late i'm tired maybe you're tired and uh this transitioning from 
YouTube to multiple platforms where people are talking on DLive, people are talking on Twitch, people are still talking on YouTube. It, it can be uh, overwhelming for me to just kind of uh, interact. And that's that's all I think um, we should be doing. We should be interacting with each other some more. And we can interact with each other and be rub against each other and just hate you know but really that's not going to do anything good for anybody <laughs> so let's just find some common ground uh find ways to to enjoy each other's company what's the point of, of going into someone's channel or chatting with other people and just uh not enjoying someone's company I mean, I know there are a few of you that enjoy people's misery <laughs> for for just comedic or whatever purposes. But, you know, you might want to be a little bit careful about that stuff. And uh, we'll probably talk about more, more of that later. But uh, anyways, thank you for joining me on this one. And we'll see you another time.